What's up? What's good? It's your girl Courtney B here and I'm back with yet another video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, what's up? What's good girl? My name is Courtney or you can call me V. If you guys are oldies but goodies, come back to the channel for another video this week. And welcome back girl. Thank you for clicking on today's upload. On this channel, we specialize in all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and luxury. All while being on a budget, I personally do not believe you have to spend an arm, a leg, a toe, and a foot to look your best, feel luxe, and feel beautiful. And I try to exude that in every single video and this video my lovelies is no different for today's video as you guys can tell by this title i'm bringing back yet another hometown favorite which is a baddie on a budget for today's baddie on a budget i did partner up with my friends down at shein to show you guys how i make my elevated basics outfits so if this is top content you can see yourself rocking with now and forever more my darling i highly suggest you hit the subscribe button down below and join the beehive family and yeah so before we get into a five minute long intro Let's just jump right into the video. Now the first basic piece I wanna kinda build off of to make my elevated outfit is going to be a black blazer. The blazer that I received is called the Shein Bay Padded Shoulder Flap Detailed Solid Blazer. For every one product on Shein, if you scroll down on their product page, you'll see that there's like a million more products, similar product suggestions down below. But I specifically chose this blazer because of the cut and the way the blazer tailored to my body. As you guys can see on the picture, it does kind of cinch in at the waist and the neckline is rather sharp and deep. And I also wanted the option to wear her as a shirt with just having the front open with some under garment tape. I did get this blazer in a size US 4. For this first blazer outfit, I did pair her with a distressed jean, a decor rhinestone wrap around the ankle heel, and of course a black simplistic bag. The jeans are also from Shein and these jeans are called the Shein Ripped French Detail Wide Leg Jean. I did get this initially in a size 6. I say initially because I had to go back and order a completely different size. I don't know why your girl be thinking she's small because I'm not. So I had to go back and get a large. The wrap around the ankle rhinestone black sandals are from a past Shein video. I'm not sure if they're still available online but if they are I will link them down below. Now the vibe for this outfit is happy hour. I wanted something for a nice casual girls night out out to get drinks something very casual leisure yet luxe the blazer makes it elevated and chic with it being a shirt and then the heels of course makes it luxe and glam with the rhinestones and wrap around the ankle detailing for the next blazer outfit i did pair her with some animal print black leggings and my black bottega inspired sandals that are also from shein these leggings are called the elastic waist leopard jacquard jacquard I got them in the color black and the size six. Now I do wanna dabble into sizing for these leggings really, really quickly. These leggings are your typical leggings. They are stretchy, but I do recommend that you get your actual size. Don't get them a size down to make them super duper tight because since these are a print legging, you don't want to dismorph or discombobulate the actual animal print on the legging. What drew me to these leggings the most is the fact that they reminded me so much of the Naked Wardrobe's animal print leggings. It just gave me it girl, fashion girl vibe but that price tag was just a bummer. I want to say these leggings were 58 to 60 or 65 bucks. If I can still find them somewhere online because I think they're no longer sold on the site, I will put them down below. And then along with the leggings, I did use my Bottega inspired black sandals from Shein, which is always a staple. If you can find any color in the Bottega dupes on Shein, I suggest you get all of them. That's my goal, that's my mission because they're just very simple, easy to add to any outfit, they're comfortable to wear and it just makes sense. Moving on to our next basic piece and that is going to be my distressed denim jeans. Specifically, wide leg distressed denim jeans. I don't know about you, but that skinny jeans, skinny leg trend is not in the books for me. I did it a lot when I was younger, in high school. That trend has kind of just died down and I'm more so into the straight leg and the wide leg jeans. In the past months, I've kind of been shying away from distressed jeans and holy denim in general. But these jeans to me are different. They're not super duper torn apart. The distressed aspect of the jeans are done very strategically in my opinion. The way these jeans are distressed just allows it to be a lot more versatile towel and does not limit me to wearing these jeans only with a casual very drab fab look. The first outfit I paired with this distressed denim is going to be a black crop top and my black pointy toe netted heels. I have been for this simple outfit for so long. A jean and the pointy toed heels. If you guys are basic lovers like me then you know you may have a thousand and one black crop tops, black shirts but every single piece has a different aspect to them that makes that piece unique. And this particular crop top is a regular crop top but it has a little bit of the Detailing, which is the twist tie detailing at the bottom. Now this top is not sold as a single top. This top 
did come as a set. That's the beauty of working with a mix and match or a two-piece cohort, two-piece set, is the fact that you can put it with different items and different outfits to make different looks. I bought this set with the intention to just wear the top. But just for reference, this set is called the Shein SXY Twist Front Prop T and Rouge Wrap Hem Bodycon Skirt. I did get six in a US 4, which is a size small on the site. This top also gave me Naked Wardrobe J-Lux label Skims vibes. For this next denim look, I did pair these jeans with a white blazer and my golden white heels that I think I received from either Ego Shoes or Public Desire. I'll leave those links down below. This is called the Unique 21 Single Button Split Back Blazer. This blazer is also single button and most of the time when you have a single button blazer, it kind of gives you that cinched in tailored effect to your blazer, which is what I love. Now when it comes to the white and gold wrap around the ankle sandals that I'm wearing with this outfit, I'm sure Shan probably has a similar shoe like this. So if I find that shoe, I will link it down below. This outfit is king for any occasion that allows you to just sit pretty and not move and get dirty because you and this white is gonna be fighting all night. Now the third outfit I put together with these jeans are going to be a white crop top and my white buckle heels that I also got from Shein. As far as the crop top, it's nothing really fancy. It's your basic white crop top. Fits really well, stretches very well. I did get this in a size small. And besides the statement of the distressed denim, the next statement piece is going to be these buckle heels. These heels are called the square toe buckle detail stiletto heels. I did get this in a size US 6. Now these shoes for me are a complete dupe for this next piece I'm about to show you guys but it does give me that vibe these shoes in my opinion are similar in aesthetics when it comes to the Balenciaga Kegel Lamb School Bucket Slide Sandals. Now these sandals are very little Debbie-ish. They're very, they're very school across the floor-ish. Their heel is very minimal. But the Shein heel is more so of its younger, more sassier sister. The Balenciaga shoe is $1,290. And this shoe ran me for $25. Plus I used the coupon code, which I will leave down below. You know, your girl has her own now. <laughs> guilty plug and that took it down to $21.06. But this last and final look is going to be built off of a basic white crop top. This outfit includes the white crop top, white textured pants, and white Bottega inspired sandals. These textured pants are to die for. Listen, and these pants are called the Shein SXY Textured Split Hem Leggings. They initially were $11 with my code and went down to $9.28 and I got them in a size 8 10. Now I do want to jump into sizing really quickly. The 8 10 is a size large and the largest size that they have. That is a very small and limited size range. If I can find pants that are similar, I will link those down below as well. These pants are the poster child when it comes to an elevated basic. The ruffles and the detailing and the texture of these pants, a statement basic. I definitely want to get into more texture when it comes to my wardrobe and since fall is right around the corner, I thought what better time to play with texture than right now. We're kind of in that transitionary period between summer and fall and I thought it would be a good idea to start with you know a nice texture basic that I can easily mix and match with different things and these pants are definitely right up my alley. And yeah you guys that is all I have for today's she and Batty on a budget haul. If you guys enjoyed today's video please do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and of course hit that subscribe button down below. Join the Beehive gang the Beehive fam because we are lit and we are never ever. I know you don't understand I know you want to keep in contact with your girl because I'm your best friend you're my best friend we're all best friends so add your girl on instagram i mean what once again all these items if they are available will be down below if not i will link similar items as well as you guys know your girl does have a coupon code now so if you guys are interested in using that i will leave it on the screen here and also down below you guys get down in the comments down below and let your girl know what type of affordable fashion videos you want to see me do next as always i thank every single one of you guys so so much for watching but until next time my lovelies your crown may tilt but you never let it fall stay gilded Don't mean to disrespect, but I'm talking about my